Hi guys, I'm here to show you another wine glass um, creation. You could use this for uh, bridal showers, wedding parties, um, bachelorette parties, whatever you like. This is um, what we'll be creating. I don't know if you can see this. Well, this is on my Pinterest. It's under the same name as my channel, So Crafty One. So if you want to see these details, you can go into my board, which is um, showers, and I have plenty other. Um, DIYs on my channel as well under crafting and so forth and so on. Okay, so what we're going to be needing is for this project, I'm using a little wine glass. You can use um, big ones or little, but for this project, I'm using a little one just because I want to be able to get it into the camera. We're going to be using a silk flower for this project. As um, shows here in the actual, oops, let me get this flipped over. Um, this one has pearls on it. I don't have pearls, but I do have like pearls on a string that are really cute. And they're not sticky back, so I have this crafting sticky back tape so what I did was I put it on the back and what I'm going to be doing just to show you for this project because I didn't want to go out and buy um, just for this project I didn't want to go out and buy all these things so I already have things that I can use so these are we're going to be sticking on here for now so essentially get yourself a silk flower take it apart Pull it apart. Now as far as these silk flowers, they're very, very, very inexpensive. It's just something I had lying around and I figured I'm going to use it for this project to show you. And you see how easy it is to take them apart. So what you're going to do is, you can do it individually, petal by petal if you want to. Um, but I'm going to see if I can get away with keeping some of them together. Now at this point you can hot glue your project together or if you like you can try um, a regular glue. It'll take a little longer to set up. I'm just making the centers a little bit bigger because I think I can get away without having to do petal by petal on here so what I'm doing is I'm just making the opening a little bit bigger because if you're doing this for a party or or wedding whatever it is and you have to create a lot you want to find shortcuts on how to do things and I'm about creating with shortcuts I'm only using um, this sticky back tape on my um, project only because I'm trying to cheat so I can do this for you right now uh, live. So what I'm doing here is I'm sticking my tape around the bottom perimeter. You would probably, if you're doing your own for yourself, you'd probably put some hot glue on here or you would put uh, regular glue on here and start that way. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be attaching my rosebud petals to the bottom, like so. Like I said, mine is only a temporary setup, only because I have no body getting married now, and it's just a little sample. So here you could see, I've stuck my first row around. Now I'm going to come back with more tape. Now remember, this is just me being lazy. You're going to use something more permanent to do yours.
Now we're going to take the next row. Let me just open this up. And we're going to stick the next row on the bottom. As you can see. Now this is a um, double stick for paper crafting, so it's not really intended for what I'm using it for. So here we have our next level of petals. Okay. Now I think I'm going to go in and use my other tape. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back where I left off. I just took the liberty of going off camera and using a stronger tape to go around. This is also a sticky back tape. Like I said, that's only for my purposes so that I can show you how to do it. I didn't want to actually, because this is part of a set, I didn't want to use this as a permanent um, favor decorated. So I'll be taking this apart later. So now I'm picking up again where we left off, which is with my um, rest of the silk flower. And remember to off center your petals because here you have an opening. All right, so you're going to want to place the center of the next petal over that, like shingling it on. And I'm sticking that on. Now I've got the other piece. Now my little silk flower has um, little dew drops on it. So I'm remembering to keep the dew drops facing upward. Like I said, you can cut the petals individually or you can do as I did, just cheating. So here you have what it's starting to look like. All right, I think that's very, very pretty so far. Now, the stem of your wine glass, I've already taped that as well. You can use a beautiful satin rat tail from your local craft store. But in my case, I'm gonna be using this fine um, pearls. And I'm gonna wrap this stem in the pearls going around. I think that makes it really pretty. And when you've reached the end, just snip it off. I think that's looking so pretty. If you want, you can go a little bit higher. So that's coming along really, really pretty. If you wanted to, you could probably, um, let me deconstruct this one here. If you don't want to use this green, you can just um, leave it plain without the leaves. Okay. 
like so. And now for the pearls, like I said before, I took a regular plain um, flat back. Of pearls and I use a super strong uh, sticky back that you can find at your local craft store now I've pulled the back off already because it is very hard to get off so you would start to arrange these on your wine glass Now if you're going to use regular pearls, you can just, um, they already come sticky back. And you get a variety of sizes from small, medium to large. So when you're making um, favors and stuff like that and you're making a lot, you want to find the quickest and easiest way to get it done because you're going to be very busy. You can have um, your bridesmaids get together and somebody could do pearls, somebody could do um, taking the silk flowers apart for you. but it is fun and you have a lot of memories. I love doing these projects myself. Remember keeping the pearls away from the rim for your guests. They're going to be drinking out of them. And if it's just as a favor to give away where you're not going to actually be drinking from it, then no problem. You can, um, I don't know, Italians and Latinos, we like to put um, candy covered almonds in our favors. I know that it's traditional, um, supposedly almonds is, has a meaning for it, I don't remember what it is, but you can google it, almonds for weddings. So I'm randomly sticking these on, as you can see. And here we have it. We have our beautiful wine glass covered with our beautiful silk flower, our little pearl enhancements, and a little pearl base. This base here, the stem, like I said, you could use a satin covered rat's tail which you could buy by the yard or spool at your local craft store the same as these pearls these silk flowers um, you can buy wherever you like you know and um, this double stick tape you can buy it at your local craft store and that's it I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing how to make this little uh, project like I said before you don't have to have this green in here if you just want to keep it nice and white you can put more petals on here whatever you like you can have these like for your your bridesmaids for the toast at the party um, in different rose petals I didn't want to use these because they're dark and I wanted it to look pretty with the white and the cream with the pink on the end. So guys, if you've liked this video, um, please share it with your friends. Uh, give a thumbs up for the video. Um, 
leave me questions and comments and if you want to see this project how it's recreated um, you can go to my Pinterest and look up my channel which is so crafty one you'll find this under my um, shower or shower board okay guys thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed it again and uh, look to seeing you for my next video